At the same time, pregnant women and women who are breastfeeding, usually they think of fasting Ramadan. Should I fast or shouldn't I? And if we tell them, do not fast because you are afraid. And she says, no, I'm not afraid. I'm a healthy woman. I don't fear for my child. I don't fear my, for my uh, uh, um, fetus or whatever. In this case, fast. If there's no hardship on you, fast, no problem. But if the doctor says, no, you should not fast because it's uh, um, dangerous, it's etc., then you have to skip Ramadan and you fast whenever there are no obstacles. Sheikh, for the past 20 years, I've been pregnant, suckling for two years and pregnant and suckling for two years. Whoa, man, this is, uh, that's great. It's, it's like a rabbit. Mashallah, all these children. After 20 years, you have how many days missed? I have like 20 multiplies by 30, 600 days. No problem. Fast afterwards, no obstacles now? She said, no, khalas, production is over. The assembly line has been shut off. <laughs> then, okay, you can easily fast every Monday, to, uh, Thursday, and the white days. And throughout the year, this is 90 days. So over the next coming 60, 60 years or seven years, alhamdulillah, you're healthy. You can make it up without any problem. No feeding the poor, no giving anything, alhamdulillah, and Allah is the most uh, merciful. Jazakallah khairan, Sheikh Asim. We are blessed.